what makes it worse than the first one? I feel like we had more volatility. I think we've only been we're only down 70 percent. So from your perspective, what makes it the worst? Is it because Bitcoin didn't hit certain price targets? And I'm going to add to that a little bit. Do you believe in the diminishing returns theory, right? Where just Bitcoin is just going to continue. It's still going to have, you know, that upwards volatility, but it's going to be greatly diminished. Do you believe in that? I, I, I do, but uh, there'll be one more cycle of high volatility. And after that, the volatility should come down. Uh, but back to the question, what makes it the worst is that this time around, there's a lot more dependency on Bitcoins, a lot more businesses on Bitcoin. Uh, almost, I don't know anyone that had already quit their job uh, in 2013 bubble to be you know, dependent on Bitcoin. Uh, in 2017 is when the majority of the people just entered the market. And while they were entering the market, yeah, they started businesses and a lot of those businesses felt the pain, but it was mostly, you know, shit quarters that felt most of the pain. And, uh, but this time around in 2021, uh, going to coming out of, uh, COVID, uh, from 2020. Uh, I think a lot of people were very de became very dependent on Bitcoin. Uh, like 2020 had a complete overhaul with all the shutdown. And I think that so many people uh, started their businesses on Bitcoin, started depending on Bitcoin. Uh, and then it goes to these ridiculous highs uh, in 2021. Uh, and after that, it's this bear market after so many people are dependent on Bitcoin. Is it is it that's what makes it bad? Is that a lot of these businesses, a lot of individuals are dependent on Bitcoin? And you think from your perspective, that's what makes it bad? Yeah, uh, not only just businesses, also countries, right? Like El Salvador. Uh, El Salvador isn't really looking good right now, right? Like they got in uh, going into the bubble. Uh, they've been doubling down on it. And I really hope Bukele wins the reelection. Uh, but like if he doesn't win the re-election, I think the, the Oh, Tone's internet looks like Tone's Oh what happened? Oh there you're back. You're back. Oh did I cut out? No, Sweet. yeah, you're back. No, all good. Okay. Boy, right. so last time you last thing you were saying you said that El Salvador looks really bad right now. It, it does. Uh in the eyes of a lot of voters, uh other countries get to, you know, uh, talk shit about, about them uh, because Bitcoin is down and that could have an effect on Bukele's re-election. Uh, so I hope he gets re-elected again. I still think that was the right move. Uh, I like that they're doubling down. They're going to buy more Bitcoin at the lows. But uh, if Bukele doesn't win, uh, this could be the major factor that causes him, that, 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 that creates, you know, a loss, brings in a president who could you know, overhaul this initiative for Bitcoin. And that sets the whole space back. So uh, these are the concerns. This is why this bear market is so crucial. <laughs>